And the Supreme Court ruling causing a lot of discussion right here in the Okanagan. While patients and growers are expressing their relief and gratitude, they also have a lot of questions about what happens next and what the laws will look like in the future. Kimberly Davidson reports. I hope the bottom line in the end is that everybody can, you know, not feel like they're a criminal. For Rob Kay, founder of Be Kind, a Compassion and Marijuana Growers Club in Kelowna, today's Supreme Court decision is exactly what he's been waiting for. People with medical marijuana licenses who want to grow their own marijuana can continue to do so. There's a lot of people that rely on me to ask to give them the answers. And I can't give it to them unless I have it from the courts. And the courts gave me the answers today. Don Schultz is with Greenline Academy, a company that helps patients and growers navigate the legalities of medical marijuana. He says there's still a ways to go to make the system convenient. I would like to see dispensaries licensed. Um, I've seen a lot of great examples in Oregon and uh, uh, Washington, and it's a great process. You go in there and it's like a pharmacy. Zachary Walsh was a part of the historic Supreme Court hearing. He's an associate professor of psychology at UBC Okanagan. His department conducted the largest survey of medical cannabis users in the country, and that research had him called to the stand as an expert witness. It was important that people had access to a distinct type of cannabis, not just any cannabis was going to do. And we also found that at least for some users, price and affordability was a major issue. And that was something that, that the court was very interested in, in terms of ensuring that there was access. With the marijuana for medical purposes law struck down, the government now has to come up with a whole new medical marijuana regime. The judge has actually suspended his decision to strike down the legislation for six months. That will allow the federal government to work out the details. Bob Kay hopes the government engages with stakeholders as it figures out a new way to put legislation in place. Get it together. Health Canada or whether it's the BC Liquor Control Boards in each province, if it's a federal regulated body, if they're going to start the new you know, medical marijuana or not even medical, retail marijuana, policymakers. They're going to tell us what we're going to do in six months. While other stakeholders, like Schultz, believes the government should use the next six months to overhaul marijuana laws in general. So I'm thinking with the six months, instead of getting into another lawsuit, that they want to maybe look into um, legalization, recreational. Kimberly Davidson, Global News.